Hello, hi friends. This is T. Balakrishna, chemistry lecturer, GPT Kota Bede. Our topic is classification of solution. In previous part, we learned about the classification of solution depending upon the physical state. In this part, we are trying to learn classification of solution depending upon the solvent used in the preparation of solution and based on relative, relative amount of the dissolved solute and solvent present in the solution. Depending upon the solvent used in the solutions, solutions are mainly classified into three types. One is the aqua solution, second one is the alcoholic solution, third one is the non-aqua solution. So first we are discuss about the aqua solution. In which solution water is used as a solvent is called aqua solution. Example for aqua solution is alcohol in water. In this example, uh, water is used as a solvent. Water chemical name is aqua. So the solution is called aqua solution. In which solution water is used as a solvent. So type of solutions is called aqua solution. The so second one, depending upon the nature of the solvent, the nature of the solvent, the second type of solution is alcoholic solution. Um, in which solution uh, alcohol is used as a solvent. This type of solution is called aqua solution. Example, water and alcohol. In this example, uh, alcohol amount is more compared to the uh, water. In previous example, water is more compared to the alcohol. Right, next one. Next one, uh, non-aqua solutions. In which solution other than water and alcohol is used as a solvent is called non aqua solution. Example for non aqua solution chloroform and ether. Uh, other than water, ether and alcohol is used as a solvent, such type of solutions is called uh, non aqua solutions. Based on relative amount of the dissolved solute based on the relative amount of the dissolved solute uh, the solutions can be classified into three types they are saturated solution unsaturated solution and supersaturated solution the first one is a saturated solution solvent holds as much solute as is possible at the at the temperature dissolved solute is in a dynamic equilibrium with solid solute particles that means dissolved particles are equilibrium with undissolved particles okay, let's, uh, let's explain uh, saturated solution a solution containing maximum amount of dissolved solute at given temperature is called saturated solution. The solution cannot dissolve any more of the solute. It cannot dissolve any more of solute. A saturation solution contains little amount of undissolved solutes. So here, the dynamic equilibrium here the dynamic equilibrium existing between dissolved solute and undissolved solute. A dynamic equilibrium existing between undissolved solutes, undissolved solutes and dissolved solutes of saturated solution. So easy to remember uh, the definition, the maximum amount of the solute dissolved in the solution is called saturated solution. Come to the unsaturated solution less than the less than 
the maximum amount of solute for the, for the temperature is called uh, temperature is dissolved in the solvent is called unsaturated solution let us try to explain uh, the unsaturated solution a solution in which the amount of dissolved solute is less than the required for saturation is called unsaturated solution if a little amount of solute is added to the uh, unsaturated solution that solute is dissolved so uh, easy to understand uh, the, the saturation required amount of solute dissolved in the solution is called saturated solution less than the required amount of solute dissolved in the solution is called unsaturated solution okay in this unsaturated solution we should add some small, small amount of solute added to the solution the solute is dissolved in the solution come to the super saturated solution the solvent holds more solute than is normally possible at that temperature the solutions are unstable crystallization can usually be stimulated by adding a seed crystal or scattering on the side of the flask okay let's uh, explain let i explain uh, I solute a solution containing more amount of solute than required for saturation at a given temperature is called supersaturated solution. A supersaturated solution is metastable. It readily forms saturated solution on slight disturbance or on adding a small amount of crystal of the solute. When you observe these three saturated required amount of solute how much amount of solute it have such amount of solute is added that is called saturated unsaturated means uh, less than required amount of solute is added to the solution which is called unsaturation next second, third one is super saturated more than required so if you add more than required amount of solute that solution is called take one example the one liter what required uh, for example 5 grams of salt if you add 5 grams of salt that is saturated so the one gram uh, one liter of water required 5 grams just you add only 2 grams it required more, uh, more 3 grams so that is called unsaturation you have less than required it required 5 grams you add only 2 grams so that is called um, unsaturation here the water required 5 grams if one what one liter of water required 5 grams you add 6 grams or 7 grams that is more than amount more than liquid amount that is called super saturated solution super saturated solutions are metastable solution when you are disturbed the solution they are converted into they are converted into unsaturated solutions uh, ready to form saturated solution cells ready to form saturated solution when you are disturbed it that is super saturated solutions are converted into saturated solutions is the difference between saturated, unsaturated, and super saturated solution. Are you clear? Okay. Required amount is called saturated. Less than required amount of solute is called unsaturated. More than required amount of solute is called super saturated solution. Thank you, students. Thank you very much. So this is NAD Balakshna GPT category. Thank you. Thank you very much.